My favorite class is Partners PE. PE, yeah. PE, yeah. P -E. just to work out and all that stuff. Partners PE. Partners PE. Partners PE is a physical education program that's designed specifically for students with disabilities um, that are normally in our special education program. And they are paired with regular education peers. We usually work on specific skills that they need to improve. We're looking for improvement in their skills. We're looking for social interaction. And we're also trying to provide them with some lifelong activities that they can be able to do once they graduate and when they're outside of the school. I think just the fact that we pair the regular ed kids with the special needs kids, apart from when they're able to get with the pals and that kind of thing a couple times a week, this is a daily experience that our partners are able to have with the special needs kids. And it's good for the partners because they're able to interact with students that they might not normally interact with and just, you know, have that impact. So I think sometimes the special needs kids make more of an impact on us than we make on them, and it's good for the um, buddies with the special needs kids because they're seeing role models, they're seeing social, how to do social skills and that kind of thing, and they're, being, they're in, actually inter, able to interact with their peers, which they aren't normally able to do when they're in their special ed classroom. Partners have to apply, they fill out an application, we ask a variety of questions about how they feel about working with students with special needs, we ask them to uh, rate themselves in certain areas, we ask, we ask them to give their teachers a survey to fill out and the teachers can also write a letter of recommendation as well. And then we go through all of those and between looking at their grades and looking at their attendance and looking at their transcript um, and looking especially at the way that they answered and how thoughtful they were in their answers and that kind of thing and just their heart through the answers that they provide. Then we'll go through and we select the top candidates. They have to commit for the full year. Um, we're asking that they're sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And of course, above all, they have to be a role model. So we're looking to make sure that they have good attendance, that they have strong grades. Their character is one that is a character that one of the special needs kids that they can look up to. Partners Meet P for me was just something I really heard about and it seemed like a really cool opportunity to work with kids with more needs than most and I felt like it was just something I was called to do. My favorite part is that we get to do like, we get to like choice day and we get like the kids get to choose like what they want to do which is fun because you get to learn more about them. My favorite part is getting to really know the kids. They become more of like honestly your best friends. They tell you everything and just whenever you see them, match your skill or smile, it just really makes your day. It really makes me smile. Um, just to see them happy about playing sports or just exercising is just really enlightening. We try to touch on all of the sports. We start off in the fall. We started with uh, bocce ball this year, which is what they're trying to make eventually, hopefully, a new um, Special Olympics program. And then we go on to volleyball. Then we start preparing for bowling, and we actually have our bowling competition or Special Olympics at the end of October. Um, and then we came back and we do some flag football. After flag football, we do some line dancing. We're currently doing soccer, and we'll get ready for basketball. We'll do some tennis, and then we'll also do track and field. Just a matter of getting them exposed to all the different activities and there's so much out there and the way you modify it that you can make it so that they can be successful. What's your favorite sport? Soccer. Play basketball. Basketball. Football. Soccer ball, kicking. Mondays and Wednesdays we usually dedicate as our days for our sports days. They're the days we work and focus on sports skills. Tuesdays and Thursdays are our fitness days, so they're working on their flexibility, their cardio, their plyometrics, and that kind of thing. We do tons of different modified activities. Tuesdays we do fitness stations. Thursdays they have their own individualized fitness plans. And we do a fit test at the beginning of the year. And from that we make up a kind of their own individualized fitness plan. And then we can go back at either at the semester or at the end of the year and redo the fitness test to just see that their growth throughout the year. And then Fridays we give them a choice day. So and they're able to do basketball, football, volleyball, whatever the sports we've done so far, they're able to do those. Uh, normally we'll get um, into class, so we'll get there, we'll set up. When the students come in, the buddies come in, their partners will grab them and they'll walk, they'll do a walk around the gym for about five minutes. And then we sit down and we stretch. 
and at that, I use that time to be able to make any announcements that we need to be able to make for the day or for the week. And then after we do that, we divide them up into their groups. They will do that in about 25 minutes. Sometimes we'll have a time at the end where we will circle together and kind of go over what we did that day, and other times they will line up and then go back to their classroom. When they go to the Special Olympics and you see them able to perform and just the excitement on their faces, just little tiny things. There's not one big, huge accomplishment that you have as little accomplishments with the special needs kids that you have along the way. One of the most challenging parts is just finding out how to work with the kids because not every kid is the same. The most challenging part is probably just trying to remind yourself to be patient with them because sometimes they have hard days and sometimes they have good days. But no matter what, we need to be a good example for them and we need to have a good day so that they can have a good day. The potential they have is so much higher than what some people believe. I think we have high expectations out of all the kids, the partners and the buddies. And by having those high expectations, you're able to build a program in which you see a lot of success. Just seeing the improvement, seeing the enthusiasm of these special needs kids, it's, it's amazing to be able to go in there and you're so thankful when you come out. You, you can't walk out of that class and not have a smile on your face because some of them have such limitations and yet that doesn't stop them.